Just landed to the London Stansted Airport, heading to the train. Um, it was a smooth flight, catch some sunrise, some beautiful clouds and things like that. I really enjoy flying. But uh, if you're planning to take your shoes off, please don't. That was also three hours of smelling things. Just made it out the train, took about 40 minutes from Stansted. Now about to head to the underground and find myself to the accommodation. Good morning from London. Just had my breakfast and coffee into my system. Now walking around, I'm gonna have a photo shoot today. It's a bit chilly and gray as was expected. I just hope it doesn't start to rain and things like that. Looking around, getting to getting to the wipe of the city. And that's it. The photo shoot done. It was raining like crazy, but I guess that's a London thing. Still got it done though. Now I'm gonna pick up some food and take a look around. This got to be my favorite brand in the recent years. Excited to visit the store. Taking a stroll, checking out this some of these signs here are just coming from the Buckingham Palace. So Big Ben and things like that. Hey, the Trafalgar Square is raining again. I made a little DIY rain cover for my backpack out of a recyclable rain jacket. Going to check Trafalgar Square and then heading to Tate Modern. One thing that I have to say is that there's not too many trash cans or public toilets in London. So really, when you see a toilet, you better use it because you don't really know when you're gonna find the next one. And same thing with the trash can. I have this one and also I have my pockets full of trash. But uh, getting closer to Millennium Bridge, which will lead me to Lake Modern. Finally found the perfect backpack for my use. This North Face. I forgot what was the model, but really nice backpack. Backpack, but the problem is that it leaks from the zippers, so I had to do some DIY stuff. And I bought the rain poncho, and I'm gonna make it a rain cover. I think I need to find a proper rain rain cover for this backpack backpack because I really like it but for now I need to do with this rain poncho <laughs> Tada, ready to go 
definitely one of the nicest museum experiences ever. Really nice museum. I only checked the free stuff, the free collection. Um, there was Yoko on exhibition, but I didn't want to go there because I've been walking a lot. Now I'm gonna go and check Tower Bridge, I guess. But I saw, I see there a store that says art books. So I have to go and see that. That was a nice little art bookstore. They had a bunch of books, quite rare ones. You don't pick anything. I don't have space on my bag. And also the most interesting ones were pretty expensive as well. Um, now heading out to see Tower Bridge. Finally arriving to the Tower Bridge. It was quite a walk, even though the map from Tate looked like in the map that it's not so much, but it was, I think, 30 minutes or something. It's raining pretty heavy, but it makes this Tower Bridge look even nicer. I hope I can get some pictures because I don't want to ruin my camera, but I need to find a spot where the rain is not coming down so heavy. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to see this. This is one of the sites that I really want to see. I'm not always so interested to seeing stuff like this, but it's definitely yes, so I'm happy and I'm gonna go and see it much closer. Good morning, it's my third morning in London, it's finally dry and I saw a little bit of sun as well. Uh, today's mission is to get some English breakfast and um, fish and chips, so uh, I kind of cleared out the English breakfast last night when I came home and I turned out that around the corner of my accommodation there's a bar that serves English breakfast and I went in and googled it. And it turned out that it has a kind of nice history, at least I'm a quite, quite a bit of pop culture nerd. So the place has had the uh, first UK show of Bob Dylan in 1962, the Pope's first show, Ozzy's first show in London, I guess, and uh, things like that. So I'm gonna head out and check the English breakfast there and see how it is. eating a cookie just came from both of the serpentine galleries they are here in Hyde Park and those are some galleries that I've been looking forward to visiting for a long time so I'm glad I went they both had some nice exhibitions the serpentine north had a Judah in Chicago that opened was first time open today actually it's a really nice exhibition a nice gallery gallery and they are both free entrance. Most of the museums and galleries here in London are free, at least partly. So before I went to Serpentine I walked around a little bit in Natural History Museum and I was my plan was to go to Victoria and Albert Museum but I didn't realize that I had to buy the ticket in advance so I'm gonna go there tomorrow. And yeah, now I'm taking a little chill moment here in Hyde Park which is a really nice park would love to spend more time here um, it's a huge one and now also the sun is coming out a little bit it, it's been still pretty chilly but regardless nice actually it's better when it's not like super warm when you're roaming around and seeing stuff like like this but and but now it at least it's not raining and stuff because yesterday was quite heavy rain and i'm glad that we should show, did the photo shoot on tuesday because yesterday it would have been Pretty not if not impossible, pretty at least ruined my would, would have ruined my gear and stuff. So we managed to do that on Tuesday, and we got some 
pictures in the rain so I can wait to look for them and see how they are. So follow me on Instagram at Nico Tombio and see what I'm up to there as well. Um, next I'm gonna head out to the metro station and go to Dalston and gonna roam around there a little bit and guess I'm gonna go to Soho for a night to see it more better because it was so rainy when I went there on Tuesday night so I want to see that area a little bit better and see the stores and stuff so that's what I'm about to do. Eight in the morning, I'm heading to the bus and going to take some pictures of St. Paul's Cathedral and maybe South Bank if I have time because I booked ticket to Victoria and Albert Museum. They have Elton John exhibit, Elton John and somebody else photographs collection. So I'm gonna check that out at 10. So I'm gonna head out to St. Paul's first and then maybe South Bank and go to VA from there. But let's see if I have time. Now I'm waiting for the bus. Hopefully it arrives soon. It's a beautiful morning. It's actually pretty warm. Warm today. Because yesterday it wasn't. But now yeah, it's been sunny. I heard that it's sunny until tomorrow. I'm gonna leave tomorrow. So Garden of Victoria and Albert Museum just took a look on Fragile Beauty exhibition. There was a lot of works from my favorite photographers that I have never seen before in person and it's really different to look at them how, how they are supposed to be exhibited and uh, yeah it was amazing. Um, yeah it's a beautiful day in London pretty warm I think I'm gonna hit the desert on um, and next head into Camden there's a show in the Underworld H2O and some London bands tonight so I'm going there and I still need to find a fish and sip so I have a lot of things to do today so um, let's keep it moving. But I've been strolling around Hackney for the past couple of hours, got my fish and sips in so I don't need to worry about that anymore, it was a huge couldn't even finish the fries and strolling around Hackney, no, not Hackney, Camden for a couple of hours waiting for the doors to the underworld to open. Gonna see H2O, False Reality, Mindless and some other London band. Really looking forward to H2O and also False Reality. I was really mean stuff. London, London always brings out the meanest stuff in hardcore. I'm a big fan of Knuckle Dust and all the rocks and bands from back in the day so it's cool to be here and see those see the underworld and see some London bands as well here so looking forward to go there soon but I'm gonna stroll around from the area for an hour more and click like some pictures and stuff like that so I'm checking in later. Mm -hmm. 